to get to this. This is too funny. Hold on. We'll wait for uh, Michael, who has, who has just come back from the bathroom. Huh. Um, he, uh, all right. So here is um, watching a lot of uh, C-SPAN, Washington Journal these days, just to monitor to see if, um, <laughs> to make sure that uh, Ronald Reagan isn't, uh, we're not having our prime callers going and spending too much time at Washington Journal. Uh, and we found uh, this little uh, gem. This is um, uh, this is a Washington Journal uh, hosted by um, who was it? I don't know. I don't know who the host was. Forgive me. We don't know. I don't know any of the Washington. We, know any of the Washington and I don't think we're supposed to. They, they, tr they yeah. They they want to make it about the people, yeah. and that's yeah. fair enough. And they uh, hosted um, comedian. Oh, not comedian. I'm sorry. Uh, Sebastian Gorka, character actor. Here we go. And with our guests, go ahead. Uh, yes, I want to thank C-SPAN. Oh, pause it for one second. I should tell you, they, obviously, they take phone calls. This is a, uh, a caller uh, on the phone. We're on with our guests. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I want to thank C-SPAN. And uh, Mr. Gorka, I just uh, really look forward to when you and Corey Lewandowski, David Bossy, Don Jr., Jared Kushner, all of you are exposed for the treasonous bitches that you are. I <laughs> Apologies for that. We'll go to Peter. See the, may I comment? Please. <laughs> <laughs> why is that man on the Democrat line? Why is there such hatred out there? It's just un-American. This is a duly elected president. People need to get over the fact that we have a republic and an individual was chosen to be president. I worked for him. Yes, I was a politically commissioned officer. But this Wait, level well, of hatred... Well, 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 well. First off, I like the fact that uh, Gorka is uh, doing the I'm going to be on C-SPAN, so I'm going to just tone it down a little bit. Uh, he was a what? Could you rewind that? Chosen to be president. I worked for him. Yes, I was a politically commissioned officer. But this <laughs> level of hatred, not good for the health of the republic. Politically commissioned I love C-SPAN, Pedro. This is one of the best shows out there. But that's un-American. That's... Republican line well, I'm from so sorry to say this. Um... Did he just make up a title? A politically commissioned officer? We are, we are YouTube. I had my own. Oh, here it is. Oh, we have a uh, mock-up of his, uh, of his, this would be his uh, business card. We mocked it up there for everyone to see. Mm. Former politically commissioned officer, the White House. Do you hear the heat in his voice, mm. Sanjay? Mm. PCO Dr. Sebastian Gorka, PhD. There you go. At least he's just made up his own title. And if you Google it, just to check it out, because maybe, maybe somebody else uses it, um, you Google politically commissioned officer. We took the time to do that. We have the first result of seven. Uh, listen, Sebastian Gorka tells Buck why he really left the White House. Here's number two. Sebastian Gorka, Dr. G on Twitter. Uh, Twitter sorry. Uh, Sebastian Gorka. Oh, oh we went oh, backwards. Sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're <laughs> blocked. That's blocked. <laughs> he said this, I guess, at an event with the Westminster Institute. Mm. And uh, I was a politically commissioned officer of President Trump now. Now he's one specifically of President Trump, not of the U.S. government. Uh, Gorka Trump called me saying he's sticking to his agenda. This is on Grabian. I'm concerned. Uh, I, I was the greatest honor of my life to serve for the president as a politically commissioned officer. And then uh, in The Hill in February, working for the most powerful man in the world as a politically commissioned officer is not only a unique honor. This is him, uh, I guess. Was he commissioned during him. private time or public time? And then there's a PDF. Wait a second. What's the PDF? That's, a different, that's, the, only one. that's the only one. Michael Evans, The Making of African Army. Wow. All right. The making of <laughs> uh, Sebastian Gorka on foreign policy. I was a politically commissioned <laughs> officer. He's the only person who has ever claimed to be a politically commissioned officer. Ever. And I did a great job. Did a great job. By the way. All right. Well, uh, we got to take a, uh, a break here in a minute. Uh, <coughs> but there it is. Sebastian Gorka, politically commissioned that's officer. pco gorka to you that caller was pretty informed too right i mean that's the thing about c-span uh listeners 
David Bossy. Yeah, I was going to say David Bossy's a reach. That's that's not just your standard issue like, you know, Flynn, Don Jr. Uh, folks, there are um, um, there are primaries today in uh, Alaska and Wyoming. Uh, so uh, get out and vote. I mean, it's Foster Freeze is running for for senate right is he running uh for senate in um in wyoming uh i don't know how many people we have who vote in the uh, republican primary and i don't know that they have open primaries uh for republicans there but uh foster freeze would be really sort of disturbing to have a oh, i think he's uh, running governor. for governor oh he's running for governor, governor. oh well <coughs> god bless him charlie kirk's dad is he his daddy? No, he uh, daddy. he's a funder. He's he's sugar daddy. daddy. Yeah. He's also the guy who said um, uh, you should use aspirin as uh, birth control by just holding it between your knees. And Andrea Mitchell literally looked at him like, "I've done like pleasant interviews with war criminals across the earth, and I have no idea what the hell you just said, dude."